So if you went to the projection room and you looked at a cut <laughs> and you saw these black frames grow through, it was like saying, you did, what's, what's wrong here? Can't you figure out how to make this cut? You have to keep trying this? What's wrong? So it's amazing to me how, because that's very embarrassing in those days, it was very embarrassing for the editor uh, to, to sit there with the director and the producer and see these black frames go through, how they had to really make that decision so carefully before they made that cut, because they didn't want the embarrassment. Didi? I disagree. <laughs> my, first, my first and very lucky experience, my first regular big picture that I got, Robert Wise, who was the director, and Carl Lerner was busy in those days in New York, and he recommended me, and Bob picked me. And the first Saturday, I showed him, every Saturday I would show him, and it was a scene between Robert Ryan and, and Ed Begley, and I, of course, had these little black things. And the first thing Bob did when he saw the scene was he slapped me on the knee and said, good girl, I'm glad to see you work that scene. That's all that's important, make it play. Now, today you couldn't show a director, certainly not a young director, anything like that. <laughs> but I was lucky enough to have Robert Wise. <laughs> and he said, all I care about is to make it play. I don't care what I've told you. I've told you to do it a certain way and it doesn't work. Make it play. And he said, never worry about that. So I was just very fortunate. And I never I did worry. I think that is, that is wonderful. Of course, Bob was... First of all, a film editor himself, so he, <laughs> he really knew how hard everyone works at that.